something like the air show, it requires a whole lot of firepower and firefighting power. So we're with Charles Van Gordon. He's the fire chief here at Westover. Thank you for inviting us out today. Glad to have you. Uh, before we start talking about the air show, let's talk about what you do generally in and around the community here at Westover. Day to day, we provide fire protection to the air base, the 16 C5s, the uh, airport, and the base itself. So every day we have a mission of our own right here on the base, just like any other department in the, in the community. And you've been doing these air shows for a while. Talk about your history with the air show. I've been doing air shows since 1983. <laughs> Either every year day, or yeah. every other year, but <laughs> air shows, uh, we've been doing a lot of them. Here at Westover, I think I figured this is my eighth air show. And what goes into the planning, something like this, from your perspective? From the safety side and response side, we practice and plan a year in advance at least. Uh, we start our procedures for who we're gonna who we're gonna call, who we're gonna assemble, how we're gonna plan for emergencies, response on base, response off base, who we're gonna include. So this is a like a, a one year planning cycle. And you also collaborate with a lot of different communities too. Absolutely. State police number one. State police is a huge asset to us during the air show. Uh, the local communities, uh, Ludlow, Granby, Chicopee, uh, South Hadley, they all they all partner with us on the air show. And you also utilize one of your favorite toys. You have Miss Piggy, and Miss Piggy uh, helps everybody <laughs> out. Talk about Miss Piggy. Miss Piggy, affectionately <laughs> called Miss Piggy, is the <laughs> aircraft fire training facility. Uh, it's run by propane. It lights simulated fires on fire and allows the guys to practice actually putting out an airplane fire. So that's kind of what Ashley and I are going to be doing today, right? You are going to be doing Miss Piggy today. <laughs> let's do it's it. It's going to be hot and All it's right. going to be intense and you'll see a lot of fire. All right, let's do this thing. We finished laying out our plan in the firehouse, then we hopped into our crash rescue fire truck to get ready for a big day. We got to experience firsthand what it was like to be a part of this team. We headed over to where Miss Piggy is stationed. Seth pulled the short straw. I got to fight the fire without actually going anywhere near it. I got a crash course on operating the rescue truck. Basically, they said, if I've ever played video games, I'll be fine. She's never played video games. It was time for them to manually set Miss Piggy on fire. Don't worry, this is completely controlled. While the fire is under control, that doesn't mean there's not a lot of fire, not a lot of smoke, not a lot of heat, and Ashley was certainly using a lot of water in that hose. Has there ever been anyone worse than me at training? No, this is fine. Right, we're done. That was intense. Turns out, not so great at putting out fires. Well, I'm glad that's over with. All right, Seth, you're up. So they got me all geared up in the firefighter equipment. I'm talking full firefighter equipment. We had the pants, the boots, the jackets, uh, the things that you put over your head, and the mask, which was equipped with that oxygen tank that you see right there. This is either the coolest or least cool thing I've ever done. I don't know, but let's find out. Then we walked off to fight the fire. So Seth, where were you in this lineup? You see the short guy in the front? That's me. They put me in the front and I'm manning the hose. I'm testing it out right there before we go in. By the way, that thing's like shooting a shotgun. It really kicks back a whole lot. So I'm leading the charge up the stairwell, then all of a sudden they open the door and it's a wall of fire. It's kind of like a fireball that comes right out at me. So they just told me to go in. Everyone was pushing forward and they opened the nozzle. So I was spraying in a circular formation to try to put the fire out from the top to the bottom. Everyone was helping me out, but boy, even though you're wearing full firefighter gear, it is incredibly hot in there and you can feel it. Uh, not quite burning your skin, but it's like the hottest summer day that you've ever seen and you're fully engulfed in clothing. I sweat through everything. It took a lot of time and effort and believe me a whole lot of sweat but finally we we're able to put the fire out as part of a team. Once the fire was over the firefighters they still had my back man. The firefighters helped me take off the gear and that is a real dedicated community of people who put their lives on the line every day to keep all of us safe. Thank you. 